NJJ the Killer Doll here, and today we're playing Family Guy, the quest for stuff. Made by Fox and Tiny Co. Available for free on the Google Play Store, and I'm pretty sure it's on the Apple Store, the iStore, the iScream, Uscream. We all want free apps that are fun to play. Uh, there's no point to this video either. It's just, you know, it's been two weeks since I gave you guys a video, and I figured, hey, there's an update on Family Guy called, what was it, Peter's Jurassic Park, Peter's, hold on, where's the thing right here, um, Peter's Pis Prehistoric Park, I almost said Pistoric Park, Pistoric Park, I'm pretty sure that would be R. Kelly's, like, amusement park if he had one, because, you know, R. Kelly wants piss on a 14-year-old child. I do not want the world to forget this. R. Kelly, the beloved R&B singer, wants pissed on a child. Do not forget that. I know that Consuela use her coin collector. No, no. I keep change. No, no. Mr. Doll no get. I keep. But anyway, during Peter's prehistoric, I promise you by the time I'm done with this video, I'll be able to say it without stumbling. Um, there are giant dinosaur eggs just laying around the city. You gotta get uh, dino DNA by doing things in order to open them. And dinosaurs will spawn, like the Chumbawambas from the Pawtucket Pat update thing. Or do I have zombies kicking around anywhere? I don't think I do. Look at all this stuff I need to collect from. But yeah, dinosaurs will just roam around and you can click on them and it'll give you stuff. Let's zoom out here. I just redesigned my Quahog the other day. So I'll give you a little tour here. Up way here in the back, you have the Pawtucket Brewery and you have Pawtucket Pat's Mansion. Then right here, here's a furniture store. The Founding Father Restaurant, which I think they've only used maybe two or three times in the show. You had Goldman's Pharmacy, and that's Tom Tucker coming out, who bought Mustache Cream and got me a coaster. That was nice of him. Um, that's Brookfield Insane Asylum. It's where uh, Lois's brother is. I forget what his name is. You know, the fat guy strangler? Because, you know, Pal Right and the Kisser? This is Vinny's. This is Vinny's place. You know the the terrible dog. Uh, that's Seamus. Is it Seamus or Seamus? Seamus, but I think it's pronounced Seamus, like the wrestler. Fella, whatever. That's Jillian's apartment. Um, that's Cleveland's house. The Swanson's house. And Joe has a thing needed to make dinosaur stuff. Cool. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. It's a Mexican worker back there. I actually think it's one of Consuela's nephews or something. Not a racial thing. I'm actually pretty sure that's what he was. Griffin House. And Chris has got more stuff for dinosaurs. More people in the Griffin House. Stewie with a bronze key for the Tan Lines Hotel. Which I don't think has been... A thing in the show. Let's see what's going on over at Quagmire's house. Quagmire's got stuff for dinosaurs. Thank you, Quagmire. Uh, we got Herbert's house. Tiny Tot's preschool, because, you know, <laughs> who doesn't want to have a preschool right next to, you know, a sex offender's house? Isn't that the dream? We got Al Harrington's, um... Outfits. I thought it was like Costume Emporium. I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, Peter's Wife's Cookies. Their cookie shop that they had that got turned into a strip club. Oh, we're scrolling too fast. The Video Arcade. The Caviar Shop. I don't know why I put this up here. I should probably move it. The Quahog Mini Mart. A random thrift store. Thingamagadgets. The Fabulous Four Headquarters. The CIA Headquarters. The Ghostbusters Headquarters. Another dinosaur egg. I gotta go make the stuff. Get rid of this. 
Buddy Clancy Jr. High with a park right out front. Rising Phoenix College. That looks like Ernie the Giant Chicken on top of it. I just realized that. Um, James Woods High. The Quahog Public Library right next door. See, I really, like, screwed these kids over. I gave the junior high school kids the park. And the high school kids got the library. And the college kids don't have anything. Because they're in college. And they don't have money for anything. Huh, so sad. Uh, right across the street, though, you got the mall. And uh, Superstore USA. And then you have the bank. Conveniently located to write, conveniently located to both of them, because you know it's like, oh, daddy, I want that really cool thing in the store in the mall. Well, honey, we don't have any money, but dad, the bank is right there, and it's like, well, you little shit, <laughs> maybe you don't deserve it. Well, maybe I'll just tell mom, and it's like, well, all right, fine. Then there's the Barrington Hotel, which is looks incredibly huge. And then you got Flappy Jacks, you know, the place where Meg worked for a while with the baby when she wanted to buy her purse. With the baby, he's walking right there. His name is Stewie. Why didn't I just say Stewie? Um, Magic Clams Saltwater Taffy. I don't remember that being a thing. That's Mayor West's mansion right next to City Hall, which is right next to Quahog Channel 5 News. Which is right next to the movie theater. That was actually really bad placement. We got PF Chinese. Because, you know, that makes sense. Putting a restaurant next to the movie theater. Because, you know, who wants to spend $8 on popcorn when you can get $6 and get, like, Chinese buffet? With Trisha Takanawa giving me another bronze key. Thank you, Trisha. The Kohog School of Performing Arts. It's where Stewie meets Olivia. And, you know, they fall in love and do their thing. I believe that's the penitentiary. Which almost sounds like penetrate, the way I said it. <laughs> Giggity. The Drunken Clam, the world famous bar. Thank you, Jerome, for the thing you just gave me. I have no idea what it is, but it's to make the new outfit for Peter. The Quahog Police Station. The Fire Department. And the sanitarium, which I need to revert back to the hospital. It was the sanitarium for, um, what was Cleveland's wife's name? Loretta. There you go, for Loretta Brown. Because, you know, she's being dead and everything. She's putting on a show. You'd know it if you played the game. Which, again, as I mentioned, is free. Over here, we have... The Lighthouse, and this is the Yacht Club, I think, and Family Guy's version of SeaWorld. We continue that over here with the Beautiful People's Club and the Rehab Clinic, because let's face it, you're going to be all hopped up on drugs watching the Chumbawambas walk across the street and have to go to rehab, like, eh. And then after you're all clean, then you're all beautiful and glamorous and, you know, healthy. And then you can go to the Beautiful People's Club. I make a great city planner. Then down here we have, you know, your stop and shop, which that's a real thing, isn't it? Like, I'm pretty sure there's a grocery chain called Stop and Shop. Or at least there was. I don't know if there still is. But then you have... A Greek restaurant. I've never had Greek food before. I'm sure it's gross. You got a malt shop. And you got your little cafe right there. Scroll on over. And then you've got your little protein. And your, well not necessarily your protein. I was going to say like your workout area. You know you have the gym. You got the beachside gym. You got an orange stand where you can get your oranges and your vitamins and your whatnots and your dance studios for your Zumba classes. It's very loud in there. Are you taking a Zumba class? And then over here you have the... Oh, I know. Over here is the Mariners Club. And then that's the Yacht Club. And there's a day spa here. An Italian restaurant. I should probably... 
switch those. I'll do that later though. Then you got Dr. Ling's Eastern Medicine and the Chinese Medical Center. We hear you long time. I, again, those are pretty awkward placements. Uh, that's the Quahog Wharf. And then over here we have the, the, the doggies and Carter's over here making it rain and making angels. Thank you, Carter, for the golf clubs. But you know, you have your last chance animal shelter and the obedience school. And um, yeah, there's the dog pound and a couple other places. Rambo Lois did me nothing. Thanks a lot. Uh, let's see. Hi, Quagmire. Let's see, what's out this way? We got the Barnes, Quagmire's Cabin, Anal Point, Giggity. Oh, hey, look, this thing's done. Hooray, now we have more room, which means I can throw more useless buildings out. Or maybe I can expand on the most creative place in the land. It's Quahog Land. Fuck you, Walt Disney, you unimaginative piece of shit. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I totally just ripped off Blue Mountain State, Rise of Fabland, but you know what? I mean, fight me. <laughs> so what? I ripped... Oh, yeah, that's... By the way, that's this guy, by the way, right here. What, what is it? Patty? Yeah. <laughs> I ripped off Blue Mountain Stout. Blue Mountain Stout. I ripped off Blue Mountain State, Rise of Fabland. Big whoop. Wanna fight about it? <laughs> But, um, yeah, but I've basically made this a little theme park area. You know, it's got all the carnival rides and stuff from past updates. It's got a party store. It's got its own bank. So, you know, you can go and sell things. Mom and dad have their secret stores over here. And, you know, there's a strip club over the. That is a male strip club. All right. Uh, let's see, you got, you know, your restaurants in there, random thrift stores, McBurger Town, because you got to have at least one big chain. You know, you got Spam. Who doesn't love Spam? Dark carnivals, regular playgrounds, Tunnel of Self Love, which I, uh, I was going to say, I think we just caught Quagmire about to go into. There's the zoo there. All right, we're going to scroll on over this way now and find tan lines. There it is. Let's see what's going on. We have the black guy from Star Trek. His name starts with a G. It's like Gordy or something. We got Cleveland over here dancing. And then there's Stan checking himself out in the mirror until his shirt pops and fixes it with duct tape because that's the healthy alternative. All right, I cannot collect from tan lines right now. I got to wait 11 hours. <laughs> oh, joyous joy. All right, we'll go ahead and collect from the three main residences. And let's see, we'll go over here. And I think I have enough stuff to, I do. All right, let's refine my dinosaur fossils. Use both of those. Those are going to take an hour to make. Nothing else is going on here. All right, so let's go ahead and get these characters busy. Carter, you can make more money, angels. Chris, you can hang out at the hatchery again because I need that stuff. Dr. Hotman, you can get and test experimental drugs. Jerome, you could become a superior athlete because I need the golf clubs. Uh, Joe... Joe, why don't you ride a raptor, Joe? That ought to be fun for you. Lois, you can do target practice because I need the pants. Mayor West, Adam West, Adam West, Adam West. Go visit Vinny. Peta, clean up after the dinosaurs. Quagmire, Google erotic dinosaurs. That's like a megasaur ass or a lickalotopus. <laughs> Dinosaur noises. 
Seamus, you can practice cartwheels and broke kicks. Stewie, you can use a tanning bed. Take it on down to Kokomo, but not too fast because Stewie takes it slow. Tom, you can buy some mustache cream. Trisha, you can report on the scene. Yeah, you can report on the scene. And that does it for everybody, and that does it for this video. Again, I'm sorry it was pointless. Eventually, there'll be something worthwhile here, I promise. Oh, wait, no. No, I don't. I don't promise. Just, um, 40, 42. <laughs>